Hi, I'm Outdoors writer David Figure, and today I'm with taxidermist Kasten Hirsch, and we're talking about what to do if you want your trophy fish mounted. When you get the trophy fish, get it to the taxidermist as soon as possible. If not, you put some borax on the fish. Take the borax, pull the fin back, and put a light coating over the entire fish, just like this. Doesn't have to be much, but make sure you put this fin back. On trout, don't worry about the head. I take the head off anyways and replace it with a fake head. If you do have to freeze a fish short term, just make sure it's flat and not all bent up in the freezer. How come you don't want people to freeze their trophy fish long term? In the freezer is out of sight, out of mind. The second you put your fish in the freezer, you forget about it. Then you move it around, you break fins. Uh, the fish starts drying out and get freezer burnt and all the oils actually go right inside the skin and we don't want that. What most people don't realize is when they see a mounted fish is that the only original thing is the, uh, the fins, the skin itself on the outside, maybe the head sometimes, but in all actuality inside there's no flesh and bone, it's styrofoam. We carve bodies out of styrofoam and put the skin over top of it. On most species I use the original head. Uh, trout and salmon are an exception because they have way too much oil in the head that can interfere with your paint job and your epoxy work. These two walleye are the original head, have the original head on them. The one on my left uh, is not completed yet with the epoxy work. The one on my right is completed and painted. This walleye, everything is original. I've used the original fins, the original head. Of course, the eyes are fake, and I rebuilt the eyelid. Most guys don't realize that there's an actual lid on the eye that has to be rebuilt. Okay, this customer the used borax on the fish, and you can see here all the beautiful patterns this fish had. These are the original patterns, and right here, and on the other scales is where the color goes and you have to hit every single scale. What if you just want a reproduction made of a fish you caught? All right, good question. So total, total length, you need the total length of the fish, the girth, and then the approximate weight of the fish. And then take a lot of pictures from all angles. Wow, that's a cool looking crappy mount. Well, well, that. Dave, no, 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 never touch a fish that's painted like that. You'll leave oil marks and fingerprints on it. That's a big no-no.